Hey guys, welcome back to another video on Pots, Pans, and Priscilla. Today I went to Trader Joe's, so I want to show you guys and the family everything I got. So let's get unpacking. Something I have to say, the prices are insane there, like so good. So if you're doing any kind of charcuterie for the holiday season, this is like your go-to place because you can get a lot, a big bang for your buck, as they say. They got me with this one. They actually had this that they were letting you try today. Figgy cheddar, a mild cheddar cheese with marinated spiced figs. It was so good. I'm like, my family would love this. So I got that. These are actually for you and Abigail because I, we are going out of town, Isaiah and I. And so I thought I would get you guys some ravioli. And I got you a three cheese um, Pomodoro pasta sauce that you could put over top of them. <laughs> These two. I'm in a wrestling match trying to yeah. hold the camera over here. <laughs> she says all done. You're all done. Love me. I also got you uh, some carne asada burritos. Mm. You guys are big burrito fans. Big burrito guy. And you can either put these in the oven or the microwave. So you can pick and choose. But there's two to a pack. Y'all know I love a good goat cheese. So this uh, cranberry fresh goat cheese. Like so good y'all. Borzen, another one. You can get this at Publix. But it was way cheaper at uh, Trader Joe's. Really? Yeah. Um, I, got I always some... thought it was just weird foods, to be honest with you. I did too. Like, and I've been watching a lot of TikToks. Not weird, just, you know. Well, it's a lot of off-brand, um, but like Borzen's not an off-brand. Yeah. So you just ha kind of have to pick and choose what you might be interested in. I also got a brie. I didn't get the full brie because it's so hard to like work with that. <laughs> you never know like what to do with it. So this one, um, I'm going to do, I already have like a pepper jelly I want to put with this. And then I got some crackers while I was there. Now, this is one that Ace is probably going to give me a hard time about, but it's so good. Summer sausage. Summer sausage. It's so gross. It's not though. And I did see a recipe where this person like cut it up, put it apricot, apricot preserves on it and put it in the oven. So I'm going to try it out. I'm going to try it pepperoni and some salami um we love pot stickers so they had this bag of pot stickers pork pot stickers we like to do it with uh, for like a lunch quick, yeah, lunch quick easy lunch yeah it's super easy and then i got the sauce to dip them in it's like a sweet chili sauce mm -hmm. that i thought would be good i also saw this soyaki it's a teriyaki marinade so I'm, I'm all about some Asian marinades. Now, the original reason I went there is to get like their holiday stuff. I missed the boat by three days, the girl said. Oh. So I got some things, but I didn't get everything. Like they thought for sure they would have enough, but honestly, because of TikTok, people have been buying out more than they normally do. Wow. But we got Scandinavian Tidings, which are soft and chewy gummy candy, and they're in holiday shapes. I also got peppermint flavored baking chips. So I could make something with those. Okay, burrata. You guys saw my recipe. We'll link that video. But burrata is normally about nine to $10 at Publix. I think I paid $5 for it there. Wow. Yeah. Fresh mozzarella marinated. Look at that. Doesn't that look so good? So our family will just go in the fridge and like get cheese. It's just like string cheese for adults. <laughs> Marinated artichokes. I like to put these on salads. Um, I'll also make like a spinach and artichoke dip. So I thought that would be good for the holiday season. It's a special treat. Look, look at the name. I'm pretty sure she dropped it off at Trader Joe's for Abigail. It's not alcohol. It's a plum and white grape juice. So Abby and Sugar Plum could have it together. Yes. Look at that. Um, our, if How you don't cute. follow our other channel, we have an elf. Her name is Sugar Plum. So we had to get Sugar Plum juice for Abigail. I'm going to tell you guys, after I show you all, all of this, I want you to guess how much it costs. Okay, these looked so good. Double chocolate wafer cookies. Chocolate wafers with chocolate cream and a hint of hazelnut. I think those would be good little treat um biscotti to or brioche toast 
I'm so excited for these. That's gonna go great with the cranberry and jalapeno dip from Costco. So you could put those on there, or you could do any kind of dip. You could do the boars and cheese would be really good with it. Um, but yeah, for sure. This is gonna be for dinner, a French baguette. So I don't know about y'all's family, but we love to have like warm bread with vinegar and oil and like little spices. It's so good. All right, Miss Abigail, I got this with you in mind. Cinnamon bun inspired pancake and waffle mix. I thought maybe you and dad could make this over the weekend while That'd Isaiah and I are gone. Yeah, we'll make gone. some pancakes. Yeah. So I got that. That is one of their holiday treats. I've had these before. They're dark chocolate orange sticks. Remember those? I made a charcuterie last year and put these on there. And I knew that y'all liked them. So I got two bags. Because <laughs> they went very fast. These garlic non crackers are another good um, option for like a charcuterie board to have with like a cheese, that kind of thing. And then I bought their golden rounds, which are kind of like Ritz crackers, but that's what they sold um, the cheese with. They had them with this. It's like a sample. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so that's what I got from Trader Joe's. I'm super excited. I think I did very well. How much did you spend? How much do you think this was? I don't know if I should ask you. You probably don't know the items. Like, you don't know the cost. $175, I don't know. 120 Wow, okay, that's better than I thought. Right? Because normally you're spending way more on cheeses and meats and stuff like that for mm -hmm. charcuterie boards. That's what you have to um, take into consideration. So, I'm so super proud. This is kind of a charcuterie haul, huh? It is. A little bit. It turned into a charcuterie haul because I had to go a different haul. route. <laughs> yeah, I had to go a different route. And I was like, this is something we can use throughout the holidays. Yeah, it's great for snacks. Yep. Perfect. It's perfect. Did you have fun? I had so much fun. It is so hectic though. Trader Joe's, like, I was like, okay, I'm going to go this time of day because it's going to be less crowded. It's not. It's not less crowded. <laughs> it's just as crowded. Comment down below. Let me know your must-haves at Trader Joe's, and maybe I will go and pick those up next time. Yeah, we'll make a list based on the comments yeah. section. Yeah, we'll do like a whole grocery haul and maybe like cook meals from what you guys suggest. So thank you all so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't done so, and we'll see you next time. Bye, guys.